And this is where we ask the fight, guys. All right, so we got our first question. And I disagree. There you go. There, let's get it started right. Well, our first question comes, uh, if anybody didn't you know, catch wind of this, uh, Mike Tyson was offered uh, $20 million to fight for a bare knuckle fighting championship. Mm. Uh, I wrote about it first in <laughs> over heavy.com. And, uh, you know, I had a quote from the president of BKFC, David Feldman, just basically saying the offer was made. There's nothing in there talking about whether or not Mike accepted it or anything like that, just that the offer was made right. and that uh, BKFC was open to working with Mike in a variety of unspecified ways. No response from Mike at all, just that the conversation and just that that offer was initially made. So we're talking about Mike Tyson. So since mm -hmm. we're talking about Mike Tyson, the mere mention of his name yes. is going to get people talking. And so uh, I covered this in the video and this was one of the responses from Jeffrey Moneybags beats the house. Ooh. He said, let's be real. If they are really Mike Tyson fans, no one wants to see Mike Tyson get hit by anyone. These new jokers only want to see Mike hit someone. But the reality is Mike will not come back because number one, he will have to be tested. And number two, he will be tested. And number three, at 53, if the fight goes past two rounds, he will be tested in the worst way with other punchers, punches from heavyweights bigger and younger than him. And he could very well get very, very hurt. I hope his friends talk him out of it. However, it would be nice to see Mike go back to his roots, capturing the bare knuckle fighting championship title, put him in there with Russian Sergei Karatinov, Karatinov with Sleep Lombard and uh, he's talking about Hector Lombard and Shannon Briggs on the same night in BKFC. It's a lot there to mm -hmm. respond to. Uh, first, I will. Uh, I, like, first, I like his name. I like his name. Jeffrey Moneybags beats the house. He sounds like a guy that needs to leave a comment so we can give him a code to go to bet online and get a yes. really good bonus and get a really good bonus. I guess this is this what. So if, you, if you're watching comment and you know, Jeffrey Moneybags beats the house. Yeah, you got to go to bed online. Yes. So, so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, Ryan? So, I, first of all, I, I I tend to almost agree that um, people are looking at this in a weird way. Mike Tyson is like a mythical character to people. It's like a superhero, and they're actually not really comfortable with the thought of him doing anything except for smashing, Hulk smash kind of a thing. Right. And they don't want to bother thinking about the fact that if he is in a real fight. Mm -hmm that there's a chance he could lose. Right. There's a chance you won't get that dopamine effect that you're looking for that you get when he crushes a guy and stands over him after landing a vicious combination of which he hasn't really landed in that capacity in over 15 years. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. People don't want to think of it that way. They rather go to Twitter after they see rumors of him possibly fighting and they rather say stuff like, uh, I read, I wouldn't fight Mike Tyson in a bare knuckle fight unless you gave me two bricks, a stick, and a rock. You know, that kind of stuff. That's fun to tweet. Right. It's not necessarily fun to talk about, oh, yeah, what if he doesn't win? You know? Mm -hmm. So I do think that uh, Jeffrey is correct in saying that these new fans, they're, they're in love with the image or the persona of Mike Tyson. But they're not thinking about the man himself mm -hmm. because he's still 53 years old right so i i do think that i don't i mean you know so yeah that that's pretty much how i think of it I, I would tend to mostly agree with what he said sure i mean look let's let's remember a few things here this this just didn't come out of thin air mm -hmm. mike posted a video hitting the pads in a carefully orchestrated video with his trainer yelling KO and then hashtagging it with certain hashtags. It seemed like he was promoting bad boys for life on DVD. Yeah, yeah it was like an acknowledgement. I think it may have been. Okay, it looked like it was a promotion that they would get a lot of traction because they knew that that video would go viral. And so they knew they could piggyback it. Not a bad idea, mm -hmm. right? Using Mike's, uh, his strength on social right now to get to an audience, a mm -hmm. captive audience. and. Look, they know they can push some buttons and show Mike being Mike and, and people just, they, they get to relive the past and that fantasy of mm -hmm. who Mike was. Um, and, and look, if Mike at 53 wants to come back and participate in the sport in which he's iconic, 
it doesn't necessarily mean that he has to do something competitive. If he wants to do an exhibition that raises money for charity, that has something really nice attached to it, then great. As long as he's not putting himself in any real risk, right? Then I think we'll see what happens. I think it's a long way off from happening. Mm -hmm. I think that, you know, one of the biggest questions I have is can a 53 year old man, no matter who they are, get sanctioned? Can you get licensed by any state? Can you pass the physical? Can you pass everything that they're going to ask you to pass? That's number one. And number two, um, if you do fight, who are you fighting? Mm -hmm. and, 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 want, and if you're fighting in a four round exhibition, that's 12 minutes. Um, maybe it's just for Mike. Maybe it's just for Mike. You know, maybe it's just something he wants to do on his terms, the way he wants to do it. Why does it have to be, why does it have to be defined by everybody else? Right? Mm -hmm. Because he's one of the best ever. Right. So everyone has to have an opinion because some people, the fantasy, some people have never seen Mike fight. They weren't alive. Right. And they would just love to see that. And then there's that fantasy of people that remember who Mike was, that there's this hope. It, it would be like Michael Jordan taking the court and wanting to see him be Michael Jordan. Yeah. A, he wouldn't be able to play a full game. B, he just might not be able to keep up. Yeah. It is what it is. You, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I mean, what Mike, do you have to say? Mike, Mike is 57. So, I mean, I'm talking about Michael Jordan. Right. 57. But you it's know great. what I'm saying. You know, oh, I mean, it, it's, absolutely. listen, but Mike put it out there. You yeah. don't put it out there if you don't want to inspire dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's really, um, it's really something because things just take, take off like crazy. And here's the thing though, when you are Mike Tyson, you got to know, and he probably does, that any little thing I do or say, can take on a life of its own. It's right. the good side of the fame that you enjoy. I mean, right. it's the other side of the fame that you enjoy. You know, you you are Mike Tyson, so there's certain things that are afforded to you because you are Mike Tyson. But then there's a flip side, and a, something depending on how you take it, or maybe a negative side to every little thing that you do. So you, it's the old adage of you got to take the good with the bad, I, and I, I think I, that that's what that is. An analogy to that, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I took Wesley Snipes as a guest mm -hmm. of the Triple G Dorovinchenko fight. Mm -hmm. He couldn't walk one, two feet right. without people stopping, touching, wanting to take a picture. Went, you know, and he had his two sons with him. Went in the bathroom, people just putting up their phones in his face and him asking for his... And I apologize to him after because, you know, people run up to him and they do every quote that they know from New Jack City from they call him <laughs> Willie Mays Hayes. Like I, it's when you really think about the iconic actor oh, that yeah. he that he is right yeah, in the history. Yeah. So Am I, I my brother's keeper? Right, right. So Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> okay, 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 Nino. So anyway, I, I, I apologize in the back yeah. after I'm like, man, I'm sorry. I didn't realize he goes, hey, comes with the territory. Comes with the territory. That's what he said to me. And I said, yeah, okay. See, that's, that's maturity. Right. It's okay. okay. So you know, so I'm like, so you know what you're doing? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know this happens. I mean, he's, he's got, he's got, he's, he's got a putting a like a, you know, piece of food in his mouth, right in that's, the back, in the back, and somebody. people come up, they don't stop, and then you know, I was just yeah. like, oh, I was like, I, yeah. I felt, I felt bad. I'm like, you know, I thought I was doing a good thing. So yeah, yeah. It, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, you have to learn how to be famous. But I think Mike knows the type of response he was going to get by showing, he didn't just sit there and talk. He showed himself hitting the mitts. Yeah. Yeah. And he's gotten himself in ridiculous shape, it looks which, great. Would, which will let you, which would make you believe he's thinking about it. 